Hello, welcome to this video in which I'm going to be starting my journey into SD-WAN and Viptela. So we're going to install a SD-WAN lab in EVNG. Um, so I've brought up the documentation, the EVNG documentation is here. And I've downloaded a vSmart device. Um, we need the vEdge and the vManage. So I'm just going to walk through the documentation and get these devices installed and then start to build out that topology. So uh, Viptela version 19.x works well. So I've got 19. Uh, so this is my software. I've downloaded the Viptela Smart 19.2.3. Um, that should be fine. So that's the vSmart. So let's have a look. That's the vEdge. This is the deployment of the vSmart. So SSH to Eve and login as the root. So here's my EVNG server. Um, I've logged in as root. And then you need to create a temporary working directory. I'm just going to copy that across. Uh, that's actually going to create an, a folder called 1844, uh, which is not um, not a problem. Now we've made that directory, upload the downloaded vSmart image to the folder using FileZilla. So I've got FileZilla here. And just get rid of a couple things and okay. Right, so here's my Eve, and I've connected FileZilla in. And it says upload the downloaded image to the folder that you created. So that was in OPT unit lab um, add ons, QMU, and my BT Smart folder. Uh, now I need to find where I downloaded. Uh, where did I put them in my Google Drive folder? SD1 images, here's the, and upload that. So that's now gonna upload the QCOW image into the folder that I've just created. So pause the video we'll come back when that's uploaded okay that's nearly there so that file is now uploaded and we can see it's there go away so I've now got my Viptela smart QCOW image in the folder that we created so upload the version go to the image location and rename the uploaded image to HDA QCOW 2 so to go there we need to change directory into unit lab add-ons QEMU BT smart dash 18 that's the name of the folder and there's the name of the file so I need to rename that and I'm going to Rename this, copy and paste, to hda.qk2. Okay, so that's rename that file to qcow2. And I think that's it. So, um, 
whenever you do anything in EVNG, you always have to do the fix permissions. That's fixed that. So if all that's gone well, here's my EVNG. And if I add an object and a node and we look up Viptela, there we go. So I've now got this, you can see this is blued. So this means the image has been installed. Um, I've got vManage and vEdge, which I haven't done yet. So this is the vSmart. And we're going to call it vSmart. Let's save that. And here we go. So if we place that one here. And let's boot this baby, see what happens. So with an EVNG, you can just click on it, uh, bring up the console. And something's happening. So there we are, vSmart login. Uh, the password is admin and admin. No, it's not. What is the default password? Okay, that's interesting. Let's go vSmart default password. Let's have a look. What is this going to say? Configure the vSmart controller. So what I'm going to do in the background is download the vManage and the vBond images. And we can have those. Oh. Let's go SD1 V. Boy, the V Smart Controller. Admin password. Default username and password. Admin. I thought it was admin, admin, password. Hmm. Be smart login admin. Oh, hold on, bear with me, let's find out this password. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but the, the password and username for the Viptela vSmart device is admin and admin, so I don't know why I couldn't get in there. So I've just done admin, admin, and now it's prompting me to set an initial admin password. And I'll do that again. Okay, so I'm now logged into my Viptela vSmart device on EVNG. Now that's the end of this video. Um, there's going to be two more quick setup videos on how to install the vManage and the vBond. And then we'll get started and put together this Cisco SD-WAN lab. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.